I am so tired of the NHL's distinct kicking motion rule and it's time for it to be fixed or eliminated altogether. So this goal was scored in tonight's Calgary versus New York game. Do you think based on the hockey that you've seen that it counted? I mean, I thought this one would obviously be called back and I'm someone who's defended kicking motion calls in the past. Sometimes you'll see players basically do a smart deflection. They'll kind of do a kicking motion, but really what they're doing is moving their foot into position to then deflect the puck, which I've usually seen as okay. There was a Chandler Stevenson goal last year where this was a big thing, and the discussion was basically, yeah, he stopped his foot before the puck hit. He didn't really impart any momentum that should be allowed because it's not intention that solely matters. That is important, but it's the actual action. Rule 37.4 says that the test is where a player has deliberately propelled the puck with the kick of his foot into the goal. Unless we're going to fundamentally change how the rule's been called, to me, deliberately propelling something means you're not simply deflecting it, you are, with a kick, adding speed so that it goes in the net. I think if you watch this play, given the fact that he hits the puck, his skate continues to move, it's pretty clearly a kick. I don't know how you can call it otherwise. But the thing is, even if I'm wrong, which maybe I am, I'm a Rangers fan, maybe my homerism is getting to me, I shouldn't have to be watching a play with my vague understanding of what kicking is, trying to see whether his foot continued to move an extra six inches after the puck contacted it. This rule needs to be changed or ideally outright removed. I think the rationale for the no kicking motion rule is that you don't want skates flying in the crease, but like tie that into goalie interference somehow. You can score if a puck goes off your shin. You can kick the puck to another player in the crease. You can kick it to your stick. Just allow players to kick the puck in. If there's worry about like Doug Glatt situations where people are just kicking the crap out of a goalie or a player player, then make a rule that protects that issue specifically. Right now, the rule makes no sense. And I want to give a shout out to the channel Neutral Zone Highlights, which put a really good compilation video together showing the inconsistency in how the rule is called. I saw a bunch of situations I figured would be goals. They were not. Last year, there was the Blake Coleman goal in the playoffs, which I think highlighted the absurdity of the rule a little bit. Like there, is he deliberately propelling the puck into the net or is he trying to stop so he doesn't break his leg? I mean, in that case, the the puck was already going in. This is a rule the NHL really needs to fix, and if they can't do that at the very least, they need to go out put a video explaining this is how the rule is called these are the three factors that need to be met for the goal to count or to be called back these are situations where we got it right these are situations where we got it wrong because as it exists it's an extremely frustrating moment for fans either you're in my position you expect a goal to be called back or i think even worse you see a very athletic play ultimately blown dead by a rule that doesn't make sense and the commentators can't guide viewers through the experience because most of the time they don't even know i was watching the sports net broadcast and they were just like yeah i'm not even going to talk about which way i think this went so yeah let me know your thoughts down below just a dumb rule and it's frustrating because the game overall has been amazing otherwise